There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium. Um, hold on. You're not done yet? No. There, there's <laughs> one more verse, but I can't remember how it starts. Does it matter which side? Yeah, or? you're on that side. I'm here, right? Yeah, yeah I think so. Pi Day is my favorite day because we celebrate what? Oh God. <laughs> Man, you are just going to town. <laughs> Holy mackerel. The answer is mathematical constant pi. Yes. Yes. yes 3.14. Oh yeah. I didn't know how to spell it. And we have pi. <laughs> Let's hear it. 3.14159265358979323846266. That's amazing that you were able to do that. <laughs> I pioneered research on radioactivity. I was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize. I was also the first person to win the Nobel Prize twice. Who am I? The answer is Marie Curie. Let's go. Yeah. All right, good for you. <laughs> Wait, what is that? <laughs> that was the Eiffel Tower because she was in Paris. It looks like a, like a dilapidated like lighthouse. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh. Madame Curie. Yeah. You wrote yeah. Madame. You didn't know Madame her first Curie. name. He should get points off because he didn't know her first name. Unlike you brainiacs, this animal does not have a brain. Is it A, a cockroach, B, a starfish, C, a shrimp, or D, a fruit fly? And the answer is B, a starfish. I got it oh. right! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I got it. Oh. See, I put a star next to the starfish to mark that I did that. <laughs> I wrote. I saw a time-lapse video of um, a starfish growing back. It's regenerating. Regenerating. It's so it's, cool. It's so awesome. And our last question. My advancements in 3D printing have saved millions of lives. I developed the first 3D printer that can affordably print much needed organs used for transplants. Who am I? You know who it is, don't you? I think so. Ah, uh, I know who this is. All right, can I see your boards? <laughs> <laughs> what? Dad, that, that's... I wrote work because she's so bright, oh. she's very innovative, and she loves STEM, and you really are working super duper hard. Oh. Yeah. So you're so good at creating things, so I just figured that you'll be able to do it one day if you wanted to. My daughter is part of the generation that offers infinite possibilities. She's gonna be the type of person that's gonna unlock all of those key potentials. I've always told her, if you can dream it, you can do it. Anything is possible. Thanks. That's fantastic, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>